Plasma is a promising source of sustainable energy. Within the European Fusion Research Programme, the Centre de Recherche en Physique des Plasmas of EPFL in Lausanne investigates gyrotron devices to heat plasma to extreme temperatures. With strong support from the Laboratoire de Physique des Matériaux Nanostructurés, the know-how on high-frequency electromagnetic waves has led to the creation of the spin-off company, Swiss to 12. Swiss to 12 supplies components for terahertz signal transmission. Each and every signal has its associated frequency. Low frequency signals such as radio waves or microwaves, and more generally in the domain of electronics, can be channeled by using common copper cables or antennas. High frequency signals in the domain of optics, such as infrared, visible or ultraviolet light, can be channeled by using optical fibers. In between these two regimes lie terahertz signals that cannot be transmitted with either one of these conventional technologies. So this is where Swiss 212 supplies the equivalent of cables and antennas that solve the problem of terahertz signal transmission. Numerous prizes and grants and a place in the EPFL Science Park have provided all the ingredients for Swiss to 12 to be a success. The properties of such terahertz waves open new capabilities. We supply these components to uh, technology integrators. These are large scale companies that make use of these terahertz signals for final applications in the domain of biomedical analysis, industrial or security inspections, or for instance, telecommunications. Harnessing terahertz-based technologies has the potential of becoming a game-changing opportunity on a global scale. By the end of 2013, Swiss to 12 will employ nine staff and is expected to grow to around 60 in the next five years. The strategic market position of Swiss to 12 can only be sustained through a strong and continuous R&D effort. Swiss to 12 is a very good example of society benefiting from research and development carried out in the Euratom Fusion Energy Programme.